So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about inverse variation. What is inverse variation? It is a relationship between two quantities x and y where x is increases, y decreases. Where x is decreases, y increases. Their product remain constant. In inverse variation, y equals k over x. It is read as y varies inversely as x. It is also read as y is inversely proportional to x and k. That could be the constant of variation. This proportion can be applied to inverse variation. The proportion y sub 1 over x sub 2 y sub 2 over x sub 1. So if we multiply, that becomes x sub 1 times y sub 1 and then equals x sub 2 times y sub 2. So this is now the formula if the given is a proportion. Find the constant and equation of the variation. If the value of y it is equal to 20 when x is equal to 7. So the equation for inverse variation y equals k over x. The value of y that is equal to 20 and x that is equal to 7. So k over 7. If we multiply both sides with 7, that becomes 140 is equal to k or k is equal to 140. So we have the constant of variation now. So let us continue to solve. So y it is equal to 140 over x. So this one, that is the equation of variation. How about number 2? If y equals 25 when x is equal to 3, so let us replace. The value of y that is equal to 25, it is equal to k over the value of x that is 3. So 25 times 3, that is 75. So 75, it is equal to k, or k equals 75. So we have now the constant of the variation. How about the equation? So let us replace the value of k by 75. So y, it is equal to 75 over x. So this one, that is the equation of the variation. In example number one, if y varies inversely as x and the constant of variation is 50, what is the value of y when x is equal to 10? Our equation, y varies inversely as x. So it means y, it is equal to k over x. The constant of variation or k, that is equal to 50. So it means y, it is equal to the value of k, that is equal to 50, and then x when x is equal to 10, so over 10. 50 divided by 10, that is equal to 5. So it means the value of y, that is equal to 5. In example number 2, solve for the value of k and find the equation. If y varies inversely as x and x equals 6 when y equals 18. So let us write our equation y varies inversely as x. So this one, y equals k over x. Let us solve now the value of k. So let us see what could be the value of y. So the value of y that is equal to 18 equals k unknown and then x that is equal to 6. Afterwards, let us multiply. 18 times 6, that is equal to 108, equals k. So k, that is equal to 18 times 6, that is 108. So we have the value of k now, that is 108. Afterwards, let us find the equation. So y equals k over x. So y, let us replace by k, 108 over x. So the equation y equals 108 over x. 
Let us solve for number 3. If y varies inversely as x and y equals 6 when x is equal to 4 over 3. Write an equation describing this inverse variation. Our equation, y it is equal to k over x. Let us replace y, that is 6, it is equal to k. Our x is 4 over 3. Multiply both sides with 4 over 3. So cancel on the right side. So 6 times 4 over 3, it is equal to k. Afterwards, let us multiply the numerator. 6 times 4 is 24. Our denominator, 3 times 1 is 3. So 24 over 3, it is equal to k. 24 divided by 3, that is equal to 8. So 8 is equal to k or k, that is equal to 8. So afterwards, let us find the equation describing this inverse variation. So it means y, let us replace the value of k, that is 8. So y it is equal to 8 over x. So we have now the equation of this inverse variation. Let us see an example number 4. If y varies inversely as x and y it is equal to 10 when x is equal to 6, then what is y when x equals 15? So, pwede natin gamitin y equals k over x twice. Or, pwede natin gamitin yung proportion na x sub 1 times y sub 1, it is equal to x sub 2 times y sub 2. So, it means the first value of x that is 6. Afterwards, the first value of y that is equal to 10. Next, what is y when x is equal to 15? So this is the second value of x and second value of y. So the second value of x that is 15, while the second value of y it is unknown. Afterwards, let us multiply. 6 times 10 that is equal to 60 equals 15. If we divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of y sub 2 or the second value of y divided by 15. So 60 divided by 15, that is 4, cancel to. So 4 equals y sub 2. So it means our second value of y, that is equal to 4. So based on the question, what is y when x is equal to 15? Our y, that is equal to 4. In example number 5, if y varies inversely as x and y equals 2 when x is equal to 8, then what is x when y equals 4? We may use y equals k over x because y varies inversely as x twice. We may also use the proportion x sub 1 times y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 times y sub 2. The first value of x that is 8, the first value of y that is 2. So it means 8 times the second value of x is unknown. The second value of y that is 4. So, x sub 2 times 4. So, x sub 2 and then the value of y that is equal to 4. So, let us multiply. 8 times 2 is 16. 4 times x sub 2 that is 4 x sub 2. Afterwards, let us divide to solve for the second value of x. Divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x. So, divided by 4. So if we divide both sides by 4, 16 divided by 4 is 4 equals the second value of x. So it means x it is equal to 4. The second value of x that is equal to 4. So based on the question, what is x when y equals 4? That is equal to 4. Instruction. Solve the following problems involving inverse variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.